Well, I'm joined by Anton Lundell, the Panthers' first round pick at number 12. Anton, thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Absolutely. And okay, I know we've had some time now to process a little bit, but since you've gotten drafted by Florida, what has your life sort of been like? Has anything changed? And just how have you gotten to sort of process the excitement of getting drafted in the NHL? Yeah, of course, it's uh, it's something you always dream about. And uh, it has taken me a little bit time to uh, realize what's happening. And uh, of course, it's it's something uh, I always dreamed about. And now it's come true. So it's really, really fun. And uh, we have our season uh, underway here. So it has been easy just uh, focus on hockey and trying to play my best game. I know one of the coolest things for me coming out of that draft was that your team had put a heart rate monitor on you so that we could see kind of where your heart rate spiked. Whose idea was that? And just tell me a little bit about, I thought that was pretty awesome and it was pretty clear when you got drafted that things definitely got more exciting for you. Yeah, we had, uh, with my team, IFK, we had a few guys who was helping me and my family during the night, draft night. So it was their idea to do, make a video, like uh, see where's my, my heart rate is going. And I think that was pretty cool. And I know on draft night, you had your dad with you. And that's one of the stories that I really want to chat with you about today, because there's so many interesting uh, things with that. So your dad, played in the IFK on the team back when he was playing. Now he's the goaltending coach for the teams. He's a goalie. And ironically, you guys both got to play in a game together back in January. So first things first, what's it like having your dad on the bench and coaching on the team that you are now playing for? Is that a little extra pressure for you at all? No, it's uh, really good when he's a goalie coach, like, uh, He's not coaching me, he's uh, like coaching the goalies so I can like uh, focus in my own, own game and I don't have to think uh, anything about that uh, in the rink. So it's more like uh, a fun thing for me. Yeah, absolutely. And talking about the fun part of it, what was going through your head during the game when he actually came out? Because I watched the video and, you know, I can see you out on the ice talking to your teammates and sort of looking at them like, holy, holy heck, my, my dad's going to be playing goalie for us. So what was that like getting to have your dad join you for a game? And he also set a record of being the oldest guy to ever play in the league a game at 46. What was that like? Yeah, it was a really, really fun day. And uh, we had a goalie uh, sick in the morning and we wasn't able to get uh, another one. So my dad had to put his gear on and uh, he hasn't been that much on ice in the last six years or something. So, uh, of course, when my coach put him in the goal, it was uh, a really, really fun moment for me and my dad and to be able to be on ice at the same time with him, it was uh, really nice. Yeah, there's, there's really not very many hockey players that play pro that can say that they were on the ice playing in a game with their dad. Usually there's too much of an age gap. So that was a pretty awesome moment. I want to ask you, so when you were growing up and you started hockey, obviously having a dad that was a goalie, a lot of people would think maybe you would want to be a goalie. But did you ever consider playing goalie since your dad was one or was it always a forward for you? Yeah, of course, when I was younger, I tried a few times to be a goalie, but, uh, you know, that's not, not my thing. And uh, it's more fun to be on ice and try to score goals. So I followed your dad, actually. I found him on Instagram. And the one post that he had was all you guys in the backyard and you guys were shooting on him and practicing. So I've got to imagine that having a dad who can actually be a live goalie to practice on has to be a little bit of an advantage for you. And was that, I think your brother as well, you guys all play? Yeah, it was last summer uh, at our summer place. Uh, we we uh, put him in the goal and uh, was shooting on him, but uh, he's more like a 
a big help for me. Like if I have anything to ask, I can ask him. And of course, when he has played the goalie, he knows a lot of things that the goalies do nowadays. So he can help me with good, good ideas how to like uh, score more goals. Do you ever get any competitive uh, bets or anything going whenever you want to shoot on him? I mean, he probably gets a couple saves on you now and then still, right? Even though you're getting pretty good, I would assume, at beating him. And of course, uh, sometimes we have, have uh, good uh, bets there. But uh, <laughs> when I was younger, it was like uh, he had to uh, let me score. But <laughs> it's fun, fun to be able to score now by myself and see that uh, that he can't uh, take all the all the shots absolutely and speaking of scoring for yourself you've done that pretty well so far this season actually I think it was your game yesterday uh, you had two goals and one of them was beautiful we saw it on Twitter you picked that short side corner uh, a real nice highlight goal but you talked about it, your team, your season is in full swing. So just tell me a little bit about how that's going. Obviously, it seems to be going pretty well uh, from an offensive standpoint, but how's that been for you? It has been good. Uh, we have a good team and we have now like uh, many, many guys from the NHL and uh, we have many injuries as well in our team, but uh, we have a good team and it has been really fun to, to play again. And... Uh, yeah, I'm looking really forward to continue the season and uh, see what, where it's going. And I noticed when I was doing some research that you're an assistant captain on the team this year. Is that correct? Yeah. So tell me a little bit about that because, you know, you're obviously still one of the younger guys since it is Liga. You know, this is the professionals. What does it mean to you to be able to, you know, wear that assistant captain's patch and be a leader on the team? Yeah, it's a big honor. And uh, of course, being a, a captain in my my like favorite team, it's uh, a, even a bigger thing. And uh, yeah, I just try to enjoy that, uh, trying to be a leader in my team, uh, help my team to win every game, and uh, yeah, just doing my best every day. Awesome. Well, we're gonna switch gears a little bit away from the the hockey chat and do just a quick sort of getting to know you. So I've got a couple different questions for you. First one, do you have any pets at home? Uh, no, no, we don't have any pets. No pets, okay, solid. All right, how about hobbies? We wanna know, you know, when you're not playing hockey, which I know you do a lot of, what do you like to do? What are some of the, the other things that you enjoy? Uh, when I was younger, I played soccer. So I like to play soccer and of course, uh, like play any sports, uh, tennis and uh, soccer. And then I like to fish too. During summers, I, I fish a lot. And uh, yeah, it's really fun. That's great. Well, you're coming to the right place. We've got plenty of good fishing here. I'm sure it's a little different in South Florida than it is in Finland, but you're in good hands with the fishing. And I know the Barkov actually is a big tennis player as well. So you guys are going to have to have some uh, some competitions once you get down here to South Florida, see who's better. All right. Uh, so I read an article, oh, what was it, a breakdown from the NHL about some things about you guys. And it said your first concert was Cheek, who is a, I did some research, a Finnish rapper. And I went and found his, one of what I think is his most popular songs. You're, I'm going to butcher this, but is it Vala Samu? Is that how you say it? Oh, yeah, Valot Sammu, yeah. Okay, so the, with the lights go out. So tell me a little bit about, is Cheek was your first concert? Is he still one of your favorite uh, artists to listen to for music? Yeah, he's uh, one of the artists uh, I have been growing up uh, listening listen to. Uh, he had a concert in Helsinki. Uh, it's uh, maybe six, seven years ago, but uh, I think that was my first first concert and uh, yeah I, I like his music all right well, well how about now what what are you listening to right now if someone said you know put on your favorite pump up song right now you know what would be the song you listen to right now i like all kind of music but uh, finnish rap is maybe maybe that uh, thing i listen the most okay i feel like it's usually the same probably not a country music fan huh 
Yeah, like uh, like all kinds of. Okay. All right. We'll see. Okay. We'll have to we'll have to find out. Uh, hold on one second. My thing just moved. There we go. Um, all right. Next. So I saw that your nickname was Lunka. Is that correct? Yeah. Did I, did I say that right? Yeah. All right. Is that just uh? Because I know hockey players aren't always the most creative. Is that just a play off of your your last name being Lundell, or is there a meaning behind that nickname at all? Yeah, it just came from my dad. Uh, my dad has the same nickname, so. When I have been playing in IFK, it just has uh, become my nickname too. So we have two Lunkas now in uh, IFK. I love it. Very nice. Okay. All right. How about your favorite food? I know that, you know, there's a lot of similar foods over there at this point, but what's your go-to food if you get to have a cheat day and eat whatever you want? Uh, I like uh, almost every food so I eat, eat uh, like everything but uh, I like pizzas okay good answer and I heard that there's a really good place for wings in Finland I don't know if it's in the same area because when Barkov took us to Finland he said you have to try the wings is that true yeah yeah it's very popular here <laughs> all right I love it all right, last one. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? And I mean, I know you're in a pretty cool place right now. I've heard Finland is awesome, but if you could go anywhere on vacation right now, where would you go? Somewhere where it would be really warm. Kind of like Florida? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe i mean there's some there's maybe some fancier places but all right i mean i think you're in a good spot anton thank you so so much for chatting with me today i really appreciate it we are all so excited to have you and we cannot wait for you to join us here in south florida so thank you so much again and we can't wait to see what you do the rest of this season we wish you the best of luck yeah thank you a lot